Hello everyone, welcome back to Journal Output and I'm Zainab al and today in this video I'm going to show you that how you can PD approve any of your iPhone in Pakistan from iPhone 4 to iPhone 12 Pro Max. This method is also going to work for the Android, Android phones too. So first of all you need any of your uh, phone which is PTA approved for uh, approving the non-PTA one. So first of all you have to go in a dialer and here you have to dial star 8484 hash. So after dialing that it is going to run the code. And now we have to select press 1 for English and press 2 for Urdu. I am selecting 1. So for that press 1 and send. And in this menu it is asking for this. I am going to click on 1 for register mobile device and send. Now it is asking for this. So if you are a Pakistani local international traveler dual nationality then you have to click press 1. If you are a foreigner then press 2. I am going to click on 1 and click send. Now it is asking for this, so if you are mobile registration, if you are international traveler, then press 1. If you are local one, then press 2. I'm going to press 2 because I'm the local one. And then send. And now you have to enter your CNIC number. So now I'm just going to enter my CNIC number. So let me enter it and then you have to click on send. So now if your phone is containing single IMEA, double IMEA or triple IMEA, depending upon your phone, you have to select one. I am, I am having a single IMEA, so I'm going to press one and going to click on send. So now you have to enter your IMEA. So let me enter mine one. And after you are done entering, you have to click on send. So now here you have to press 1 after confirming your CNIC and your IMEI number and then send. So now your request has been submitted to PTA upon processing confirmation message will be sent. So after some time in a very less time you will get a message as I have gotten. So you can see this is the message right here. So now you will get these kind of messages in your phone and then as you can see here these are the details as mine is brand Apple. So this custom duty is actually different for your different phones and then you have your PSID code which is very important code from where you have to pay. The next one is COC ID code and then you have your application PSID validity 7 days if FPR duty not paid. So this is very important that you have to pay during these 7 days otherwise your PSID code will be expired. So remember it is a very important code from where you have to pay this custom duty. So there are actually different ways you can go to your bank and from where you can pay the next method is of net banking another is JS cash so you can do it according to your suitable method so now here are the two options one is JS cash another is UBL digital the net banking one so I'm going to choose this option of net banking and I'm going to open the app which is UBL digital so let's open the app after opening the app you have to go in payments and after that you have to click on this option which is government and online payments let's click on that and now you have to click on this option which is Federal Board of Revenue FBR. Let's click on that. And now here it is asking for your PSID code. So if you remember that you got a message where you got your PSID code which I said which is very important. So copy that and then paste it right here. After pasting the code you have to click on this option which is review. So let's click on that. And now it is going to take little time. Now you are going to see the same amount which you saw in the message and now it is asking for enter OTP. You are going to get OTP in your message and you have to type it down. You can see I have the same amount. I am going to click on pay and now don't worry it is going to take time. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to receive which kind of new update on time. And you can see the amount is 16,401. So now as you can see it is success. Transaction is proceed successfully. Please check the status in the digital transaction history. Now within 24 hours your phone will be successfully approved and you will receive a message from 8484 and you will see there that your phone is successfully approved. So now uh, I have just paused this video because in 24 hours anytime I can get the message so I will resume the video when I'll get the message. 
So now I have just got the message and I have resumed the video. I will show you what kind of message I have received from the 8484. Here you can see I've got a message. Let's open it. Here you can see custom duty paid for brand Apple iPhone 7, model iPhone 7, custom duty same. You can see here 16,401, same codes and you can see your device is approved successfully. It is approved. I hope you understood whole the tutorial and whole the method. This was a really amazing method to approve any of your iPhone. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching the video.